The health crisis linked to vaping is getting worse here in Maryland. The state's Department of Health says that cases of vaping related illnesses have tripled in recent weeks. WJC's Live, Stetson Miller, tells us why this increase is so concerning to doctors and how local vape users are reacting. Stetson. Hey Vic, well, the number of cases of vaping related illnesses in Maryland has now increased to 15 cases and a local doctor here told us today that that's very concerning, but we also spoke to a local vape shop manager who said he's not sure that everybody who's getting sick is using vapes in the way they should. There are now 15 reported cases in Maryland of people developing severe lung illnesses after using e-cigarettes. That's up from five reported cases in the state at the end of last month. Health officials say symptoms happen within months or even weeks after vaping. They're extremely short of breath, have low oxygen levels, and you look at their x-ray and it looks like diffuse pneumonia, but it's not pneumonia in the sense of an infection, it's just respiratory failure. The lungs are, are failing. However, across the country, the number of vaping illnesses has been reduced. The Centers for Disease Control revised the total number of cases Thursday from 450 to 380, only counting cases that are most closely linked to the use of e-cigarettes. Doctors still don't know what's causing the illnesses. Again, there's no consistent finding just yet that you can track along everybody that this has happened to. But local vape shop manager Paul Snelson said he thinks a lot of these cases are happening because people are misusing e-cigarettes and vaping products that are not meant to be vaped. How do we know that it's not their, you know, their THC cartridge? Are they getting something that's counterfeit, that's causing that these issues? We're kind of just jumping the gun and pointing fingers without any hard evidence. And again, we still don't know what the exact cause of the vaping related illness is. And doctors say the best way to avoid getting this illness is to just avoid vaping. Live in Baltimore City, Stetson Miller for WJZ.